Hello everyone, I'm Shoplo, Sagar Roy, and I am here representing a firm called Oil Pro. Okay. So what we are into is something known as fractional real estate. So what we do is basically we acquire really big rent generating properties, commercial properties like office spaces, warehouses, manufacturing plants, and these properties they generate a lot of rent every year. So these properties, uh, by the virtue of let's say um, their size, they are also very pricey. Let's say they are like 10 crores, 20 crores, 30 crores and above. Okay. So for an example, a 10 crore property can generate you about let's say 1 CR in rent okay, every year. And this money is very passive and it's very stable because these tenants, they don't go away okay, very easily. Okay. Plus, the property appreciates over time. Okay. So obviously everyone knows that the prices of real estate they go up, isn't it? So this can for this can provide basically a, an alternate source of investment for let's say the retail market, okay, that is investing in let's say stocks and is losing sleep at night because they are making losses at times. As compared to the stock market, we also provide uh, similar returns. Like an index fund will give you, let's say, 15% average returns. And with this model, you can also generate 12 to 13% returns after taxes. That is the good part. Okay. So, as compared to stocks, it provides you with, let's say, a place where you can park your money and it will be safe and it will keep on growing. Plus, this is something that uh, people have never been able to invest in before that because it has been taken by extremely big institutions, banks, um, venture capitals. So we are trying to bring it to the general public. The um, current regulations suggest that we need to, let's say, take money in terms of, let's say, multiples of 10 lakhs. So that is, let's say, a formal requirement. But yes, we are trying to open it up to the general public. So that is the platform. And a couple of words about, let's say, my team and my background. Okay. Um, I have two co-founders more. Okay, I am Shopro. I come from a technical background. I am again an ethical hacker. Um, again, uh, other than that, I moved to real estate about a year back. I have worked as a realtor. About uh, my co-founders, one of my co-founders, Anirban. The other one is Abdul. Anirban is a developer here. Um, they, their latest project is called Lux Insignia, and it's about a uh, 500,000, 5 lakh square feet project that they're developing at Joka. Okay, plus they own, they, they are kind of landowners, okay, to be honest. Um, other than that, uh, my other co-founder, Abdul, he actually comes from a background that is very well associated with private equities. So we also have an upcoming private equity arm in which we want to make private equity investments available to the public because these are opportunities that have been always limited to the extremely elite. We are trying to bring that mainstream. And I do not have a financial ask. We are trying to bootstrap the company to the point where we can support it fully, where we have strong financials and everything. The reason I come here is because I'm trying to connect with um, auditing firms, law firms, legal firms, accountants, and I'm trying to make similar um, yeah, connections. That is it. And um, a lot of thanks to Onindo because he has been involved in a lot of background work for me. And Orunda for providing me with this platform. Yes, that is it. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? So you essentially work like a read? Yes, it is like a read, but the returns are better than a read. REITs will give you about let's say eight to nine percent per annum. Okay, that is before taxes. After taxes, it will come to seven. Uh, but this after taxes then can get you about thirty. So, what is the case study custody that we have? Case studies. Thirty percent you are claiming, right? Yes. Claiming thirty percent or what percent? Yes. Right. Any can anybody can claim anything. Right? Yeah. You have to have a case study or something yes. like that. They already done past performance Okay, so um, two things about past performance. Okay, so the stats are based on are based on let's say the properties that other platforms have listed on there and we are already in talks with let's say a few brokers around town and in different states for uh, probable properties. And they also have uh, similar facts and figures, numericals I mean. Okay. Let's say um growth percentages of 
okay? Let's say rent percentages and everything. We have a financial model that I can show you and discuss at length. And about the work pass models, we have two projects at hand. One is, uh, and we are basically, again, applying our private equity principle here as well. We are raising funds and trying to flip a couple of projects. One project is um, about 50 CR. The other one is 200 CR. We have the, let's say, permission to, let's say, use that for our own model, FRE, fra uh, fractional real estate, and also to flip it to other buyers. So yes, there is a lot of background work that is going on, and I can obviously discuss everything with you. Next question, please. Anyone else? Harshman? What is the present yield you are generating? It is completely pre-revenue. No money. No yes. or no yield? There is absolutely no money we are generating right now. I am looking for connections so that I can complete, let's say, size cost investment you are looking for? Ticket so size, investments you are looking for. We are not looking for investments. You are going to acquire an asset, right? Yes. You have already identified an asset. Yes. What is the ticket size? Ticket size of an investor. What is the investor? 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 Okay, so um, for our pilot project, we do have these two properties, but we are not going to, um, let's say, rent out the entire property. We are going to start small so as to, let's say, preserve everything. We need to pay the ticket size you are looking for. What is the minimum investment? Minimum, minimum investment will be. If you are acquiring a property, what will be that ticket size? Crore rupees or five crore or ten crore? What kind of? The minimum ticket size is about 10 lakhs. Okay, that is that is for the investor. Yes. Yes. About the property yes. that you will acquire. That will be about five CR. Yes. And the that you that gets I can I can give you a mic. Connect with him one on one, he's a developer, you do. Any anyone question? So you are saying a bit louder. So you are saying that anyone can invest put the ten ten lakhs fees and get something FRE something. Yes. Is it regulated or how you are assuring investor protections? Okay, this is really interesting because, okay, so over the last five, all the firms that are out in the public nowadays, okay, there are five firms, I can name them later. Um, they um, have started in the last five years and this market is very unsaturated. This is catching up. And so, SEBI has come up with a set of regulations called the SM REIT regulations, okay. They encompass every rule that every company like this needs to follow, and we need to apply for a license of the same. Okay, we have not applied. Um, the license is applicable until after we have assets under management of 50 crores and above. Right now, we have nothing. Okay, so yes. So when you say you have nothing, and this yes, yes, go. On. When you say uh, you have nothing right now, and you're not, uh, uh, you don't have any license right now. So if I yes. come to you. And mm -hmm. say that I am putting my 10 lakhs this to you. Mm -hmm. How you are showing me for the as a investor protection, investor protection or some security protection? Okay. How the units are allocated? Yes. So I can okay. So there are multiple parts to this. Okay. So there are some, there are these uh, main corporations called an SPV, a special purpose vehicle, which is basically like a company. Okay. And the money that you invest in goes to this LLP. Okay. Uh, it can be an LLP, it can be a private limited, that's different, but basically you get shares of the company that owns the property, okay? And you as an investor are basically, you have, you know, you possess those shares and if you want to make an uh, exit, you can sell those shares. And about protection, you are the legal owner of the shares. getting the equity of the company who holds the... Yes, that is how you can that I uh, Moreover, let's say when you invest, you don't transfer the money to my bank. Okay, so if you transfer the money to an escrow account, okay, from where if the deal falls apart, if the deal doesn't happen, you get your money back with the interest for the period of time. Uh, that's what the query, I mean, I'm just giving you a uh, feedback that 
the regulation and industrial production is necessary. Yes, there is. And the unit allocation is also. Unit allocation in the sense? In the sense, I am buying, uh, I am paying you 10 lakhs. Okay. What so, how I can get the unit? I am getting equity. Which part? I am getting an equity of the yes. company, of LLP. Uh, how you can know about that particular at the company uh, pay me the rent, uh, renting rates or whatever it's um, there is like legal work that goes behind it. You are basically issued CCDs. Uh, but that legal work is not regulated. No, it is regulated. See, I mean, I mean uh, falling short of time can take it one or one. Do you have any questions? I have one question. Yeah. Just one thing. Just one so, thing. Yes. The issue with REITs in India, I think in my opinion, is, has been that uh, there's a lot of black money there. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. So, uh, is in the the real estate is built on black. So, uh, so uh, and a so, uh, how do you ensure transparency or how do you propose to ensure transparency? So, uh, so, uh, there is a lack of in your transaction. Because every statistic, let's say any amount that you invest in, okay, it is public. Wherever, plus there is a lot of information you can get from the MCA portal here, here and there. So everything is transparent, nothing can, can be hidden with laws. Last question, no time. Does your company need to be radar registered as well? Um, not exactly. We need to. We just need to get an SMB license. What's the net worth required for that? Like for a PMS license, you need a net worth. Uh, so necessary here. What's your skin in the game? Okay. So um, the SMB regulations again ask when you have an AUM of above 20 CR, you need an investment manager who has a liquid portfolio of 20 CR. Okay. Second, you need to invest 5% skin in the game in every property. So if we are buying 100 CR property, we need to give in 5 CR of our own money. So that maintains, you know, the sensibleness in the property. Ki ye log, aise hi, you know, koi property so where do you, hai. How do you intend to raise that? How will you start investing? Oh, no, no, Pradeep, I'm fine. Absolutely no time. You have any questions, sir? So I was just asking, why you started this venture? So what is the need of this? Market gap, anything? Why just one one? First of all, the market is unsaturated. Second, people don't get to invest in these. Okay, like if I say that I will bring, let's say the common man, the investments of the extremely upper class, okay, and they get to invest just like the top 1%, that will create an effect. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much.